This is Star Talk. Don't be nervous, you're fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Okay, so I'm ready. Okay, so how do we do this? You ask the questions and then we answer. That sounds good. <laughs> Hi, Elmo. It's so good to oh, meet you. It's good to meet you. you. What's your name? My name is Stacy. I'm with Star Talk Radio, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson Show. Cool. And he <laughs> loves science, and we love small people who love science. Uh, well, Elmo is a small monster that loves science. Now, who's with you? I see a man who looks like he's flown to space. That's right. This is astronaut Ricky. Ricky, so nice to meet very you. Very nice to meet you. It's Thank great to be you. here. He's very important. That's wonderful. I think so. I think so. So I have a couple of questions for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And for both of you, I want to know how you got interested in space. You first. Me first? Uh-huh. Um, when I was a young kid, there were two things I liked to watch on TV. I liked to watch human beings walk on the moon. And I also used to lot, like to watch a gentleman named Jacques Cousteau oh, yeah. who liked to travel under the sea. Uh-huh. And that really got me excited about science and math when when... I was just a little bit older than him. Oh, really? But it's not too early. That's true. <laughs> but Elmo would love to be an astronaut. Yeah. We have a lot of, we do a lot of fun experiments and scientific experiments at Sesame Street. Oh, so Elmo loves to learn about true. science. It's a good place. Now, what are the qualifications to become a Muppet astronaut? Well, there's no choice in the matter, really. <laughs> Elmo's just a monster. There's no help in that. It's and probably the same as being a regular astronaut, right? Absolutely. What are, the, what are the specifications? You have to study science and math and take care of yourself so you're physically fit to do oh, the cool. job. Yeah. Emma does all those things already. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh-huh. That's great. So, um, Elmo, now, we kind of know what regular astronauts bring to the ISS, but maybe Ricky can tell us a little about that. But as a Muppet, what would you bring to the ISS? Well, uh, that's a good question. First of all, Mr. Ricky... I'm what's what's the ISS? International Space Station. Oh right, I wonder yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe like maybe like his favorite blanket if it got cold. Oh, and does maybe, it get cold? No, it doesn't know. Does it get cold? It gets cold outside, but on the inside, it's nice and comfortable oh, all really? the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so maybe Emma will be fine with whatever they have. Ah, <laughs> he could still bring a blanket. Okay. Now, would either of you volunteer for a trip to Mars? Sure. Absolutely. Emma would love to. And it's a red planet just like you, Elmo. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds And really he already good. has the suit. That's right. Yeah. That's you right. like Elmo's snazzy outfit? Oh, I, it's my favorite color, actually. Oh, really? Actually, I have a room in my house painted orange. Really? Yeah. Now, what, this orange, like traffic color? No, <laughs> more like a light pumpkin. A light pumpkin. A That's light nice. pumpkin, so We yes. actually call these pumpkin suits. Oh, really? Do you yeah, really? Absolutely. Do you cut little eyes in them on Halloween and the put candles The NASA won't inside? let us, yeah. Little candles? <laughs> So, Elmo, I have a question from one of our fans of Star Talk. Yeah? And they want to know what really tickles you. Boy, what tickles Elmo? Well, most people do. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, Elmo just loves really nice people like Mr. Ricky. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ricky's so nice, isn't he? Yes. Thank you so much for traveling to space and doing research oh, and science for us. It was my pleasure. I would love to go do it again. Well, we yeah. know young people love we science have. as well as old people, and we want more young people to become old people and do science. That's, That's right. That you got that right. absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Do I would any... like to be a, an astronaut run one day and, and go back to Sesame Street and tell everybody what he's learned about. That'd be great. That uh-huh. would be great. And astronaut Ricky, do you have any advice for a young person who okay. might want to become an astronaut? Absolutely. Do what you love and, uh, and study your science and math. It's a great career. It's a, it's a great job. It's fun to wake up and go to work every morning when you get to do stuff in science. Thank yeah. you both so much. It's been a pleasure meeting both of you. Uh, thank you, Stacy. Speaking with you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank, thank very you. Nice to meet you. You too, and we're looking forward to the launch. It'll be very yeah. exciting. Thank you both. Do you want a <laughs> shout out? You want a shout out for your, for your, for your show? Sure. What, what's, what's the show? Star Talk Radio. Okay. Star Talk Radio. Radio. This is Elmo. And Ricky.